What's going on, people from Chicago Latin Music? Today, we got a CEO, a boss, First Class B. What's going on, boss? What's up, baby? How you doing, man? Man, chilling, chilling. A lot of people saying, man, you got to get First Class B. He's one of the best Latin artists in the city. And for the people that don't know, and even before I start, hey, I'm sorry, I ain't got no Don Perignon or nothing. I got that Trader <laughs> Joe's bottle. I got that cheap bottle, <laughs> you know, you know, you bossing up, boss, but for, yes, the sir, yes, sir. for the people that don't know who First Class B is, can you tell us who you are, man? Um, Man, I'm just a, a, a dude from Chicago, you know, trying to make it in this rap music, uh, out here living, man, really just trying to, trying to, trying to move forward, that's it. Okay. Uh, can you tell us about a little bit about what, what inspires you to make music? Um, man, so basically I started dabbling with music, writing, um, lyrics to like, you know, beats and shit like that. Probably when I was about 12, 13 years old, never really took it serious. Um, always kind of fucked around, like recording shit here and there on a laptop, like nothing in the studio serious. Um, my homie DJ Ozone, um, basically one day we was, uh, I think we was driving to Miami or some shit. He was listening to an old iPod I had in the car and there were some tracks from me on there. He was like, yo, who's this? I'm like, that's me. I be rapping. You know what I mean? He's like, oh, we got to get you in the studio. Took me uh, took me to Classic Studios. We knocked out a joint, like, official in the studio. And then from that point forward, we was, like, doing music for real. Nice, man. Uh, just to break the ice a little bit, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. And these questions I asked all the artists. So if you can answer the questions on the spot, we'll appreciate it. So yes, sir. <clears throat> what is your favorite place to eat in Chicago? Maple and Nash. Okay. Yeah. Who who got the hottest Chicago streetwear? E, that's a tough one, man. Uh, I got to give it to my man Joe Fresh Goods for sure. What's your favorite type of watch? Uh, probably a skeleton. Okay. Or chata or Jamaica. I was a Jamaica. I'm a hibiscus type of guy for sure. <laughs> uh, favorite jarrito flavor. Uh, the orange. I don't know what it is, but the orange joint. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know the artist before you said the orange one too, and he didn't know the name yeah. of it. <laughs> That's my shit right there. Hivaritos or tacos? Tacos all day. Okay. Hennessy or tequila? Tequila. Okay. Bachata or R and B? <laughs> That's tough. Watch out, man, because I'll be hopping on that dance floor when that shit come on for sure. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> okay. Bad Bunny or Anuel? E, probably Anuel for sure. Kanye West or Lil Durk? Kanye West, that's easy. Okay. BMW or Mercedes? Mercedes all day. Reggaeton or Dominican Dembo? E, that's tough, man. That's tough, man. <laughs> Uh man, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go with Dominican them both. <laughs> okay. Chicago Cubs or the Sox? Chicago Cubs all day. I'm from the north side, baby. Illmatic or Blueprint? Oof. Blueprint. Jada Kiss or Pusha T. Fuck, that's tough, bro. Damn. <laughs> <sighs> man, I can't. It's like you can't not say Jada, bro, because it's Jada, but Pusha T is like my favorite, damn near one of my top favorite rappers right now, like still actually doing it, you know, relevance wise and that. Fuck, man, that's tough, bro. I'm going to say Pusha T. Pusha. Hottest DJ in the city? DJ Ozone. That's easy. Hey. <laughs> hey, if you tell DJ Ozone, if he comes into the show one of these days, we'll give him a, 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 a DJ play, uh, one of these right here. gonna ship him one of these right here okay 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 I, man i got my yeah, man we'll sitting right here with a me. life set for chicago latin music one of these days i got my man sitting right here with me bro if you want to chop it up with him he right here too <laughs> oh first show man um so let me let me ask you about a little bit about your music career right now are we expecting any music any album ep coming up i, I see you dropping a lot of singles yeah yeah anything? so I, I felt like I dropped two projects uh, kind of earlier on. And then um, 
I, I really think like the singles kind of just make more sense until we get that growth that I'm looking for as far as like uh, audience, you know what I'm saying? Just because um, people are tapping into me kind of like new, right? So you don't really want to listen to an entire album or project from somebody you don't know. So I feel like until I get these singles like going harder and harder and I build that audience and that fan base more that I want, then I'm going to drop another project. But as of right now, I'll, I'll be dropping a lot of just uh, freestyles and singles for now. Is there any artist in Chicago that you want to rap with or make a song with right now? Uh, from Chicago? Yeah, from Chicago. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, man, to be honest, bro, like I, I, I feel like what I lack the most in the music right now, I'll say like my weakness is probably hooks because I'm a verse guy. I'll be doing lyrics and shit. So, um, Man, I would love to get Jeremiah on the hook and me do the verses, and I feel like that could be a slap right there. A banger, absolutely. What is this quote that we see all the time? What does this represent to you? Every day is Christmas and every night is New Year's. Um, I, I feel like it kind of speaks for itself, man. So like, you know, Christmas Day, what's everybody doing? Opening gifts, feeling happy, feeling good, like enjoying life, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's kind of just like a feeling. And then New Year's, you you know what time it is, it's a celebration, you know what I mean? So I feel like every day we trying to, we trying to get that Christmas feeling, live like shopping, eating, you know, living good, you know, and nighttime we go out and we, we celebrate, you know what I'm saying? So are we expecting another billboard from first class? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, actually, yeah, probably real soon, but it won't, it won't just be me. It's going to be me and somebody else on it. Nice. Are you performing soon? Uh, my next show will be Summer Smash coming up in, in June. Yeah, the, the festival Summer Smash, yep. Okay. And then one of the questions that we always ask all the artists, because obviously they, all these new youngins, they love the flashy lifestyle. They want to be a boss. But what do you recommend these youngins as far as like the music business and what, what, what advice you give the new, the new ones? Man, you know what? As far as the music business, I feel like I'm still learning a lot myself. I feel like, you know, uh, just in the couple of years that I've been doing it, I, I'm I'm still learning a lot as far as just the, you know, the uh, the politics and everything behind, like, you know, the music stuff. But basically what I say is uh, I feel like we're living in a time where you need to just do a lot as far as content, uh, music, videos and everything. And I, I even feel like I like that sometimes, you know, because I'd be kind of busy here and there but it's, it's definitely doing more like you know don't don't wait don't push it off people want to see shit tomorrow people want to see shit today people ain't really looking for like you know drop it next month they want you to drop today like that's the time we're living in right now so it's definitely putting in putting in that work okay now are we going to expect a dj ozone uh featuring a uh, first class b dembo track soon yeah <laughs> uh man yeah hopefully we was actually just talking about that man just talking about that with a couple other like chicago latin artists that uh yeah we definitely think about dropping something like that for sure so let me ask you another thing as far as the music business uh, you say you're a uh, a new act but we seen first class b pulling up on cicero and a royce royce uh, yeah. pulling up to the, you know making the, the party look like the, the candles are lit up let me ask you this, um, what is coming next? We saw our whole trailer with the word first on one of your videos. <laughs> yeah. What are we gonna see next? Uh, man, bro, to me, I feel like the most important thing is like growing this audience and growing this fan base. I feel like, you know, all that stuff is just kind of the superficial stuff and that, and it's really, it's really just me being me and Ozone being him and us being us. You know, it's not like we're really just trying to like do it for music. It's kind of like I'm living my life and I'm doing music and then people see the life, you know what I'm saying? It go make sense with the music. But really, really what I want, what I want is growth, bro. I, I, I want to build this fan base and I, I just want people to hear me out. I feel like uh, the, the category of rap that I do is just a little bit tougher because we're not trying to do what's trending. We're kind of moving with more timeless music, lyrics, uh, shit like that. So it's a little bit tougher, but I, I feel like we're going to get there. So hopefully we we uh, we get there soon. Yep. And for the last question, what do you think the city needs for artists like you to get to the next level? 
because we've seen a movement growing lately. We've seen this far as 2021, 22, the artists, the gates are finally opening in Chicago. What is it that you guys need or you that you see it as an artist that, hey, this is what we need? Um, I, I feel like just a little bit more open doors as far as like this type of category of music. I feel like um, it's kind of a little one sided in Chicago. There's like a obviously the lane like, you know, of pretty much the 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 typical kind of drill scene, I would say is probably the most popular and relevant and uh, they kind of do the most numbers, I would say, got the most like following. But I feel like there's definitely artists who are uh, doing more like concrete rap shit, more lyrical shit, uh, classic hip hop beats that probably need to be heard a lot more. And uh, yeah, I, I, I just think people uh, people need to open the door to like, you know, I, I guess Chicago's known for the drilling and the killing and the gang banging, but there's other stuff like to be spoken about out here, you know Absolutely. what I'm saying? One thousand percent. And then the last thing and the last one, there's two more things, but here's the, the question that I always <clears> ask. <throat> Name the three artists that you think are the next coming or you already see them blowing up in the city. If you can give us three names of anybody that you know, even in your team. Um, Man, blowing up in the city. Um, Definitely give it to JR007. Um, man, probably... I can't think of any other that are probably blown up that aren't really buzzing already yet, man. I'm not sure. I can't go off the top. Okay. But for sure, for sure, I see JR taking off. Like, he doing numbers, doing his thing, hit, hitting shit the right way. Okay. And then if you were in a car with Chicago Latin music and we hang you over the ox, what song are you playing? Uh, right now, uh, Neck and Wrist Don't Lie. For sure, Jay-Z and Pusha T. That's the hardest shit out by a mom. a banger. It is a banger. <laughs> well, first class B, man. Thank you for this minutes that you're giving us, man. I'm glad pe people's going to definitely want to hear this. They they're curious to hear about you, man. And hopefully we get your boys in here, your boy DJ Ozone. Hopefully he can join us one time. And then thank you again for giving us this time, man. Yeah, no doubt, man. No doubt. Appreciate y'all for having and me. Thank if you. you could just give us Chicago Land Music a shout out, we'll appreciate that. I got you, bro, bro. Love. Thank you.